So this is not my usual content, but I'm here to tell you that I'm a mom again to these little baby squirrels. My husband, daughter, and I went to Dairy Queen last night, and as we were leaving the parking lot, we could see across the street there was another parking lot, and there were like little things walking around really close to the road. And my husband was like, "What are? What is that?" Um, so I drove across the street, very busy street. And um, we saw that there were two little baby squirrels just walking around. Like we didn't see a nest nearby. We didn't see a dead mom. I'm not sure exactly how they got where they were, but we knew that they weren't going to survive the night. I think they're about six weeks old because their eyes are open. Um, so we put them in a box in our car and brought them home. And I called the wildlife rehabilitation places near us and they said, oh, we'll call you back tomorrow. So they were covered in fleas and we, um, so we took my husband's car and like made a very like insulated area for them in the car for them to spend the night. So we gave them apple slices. The, the lady I talked to, uh, from the wildlife, like animal control said that that was fine to do. And so they were eating the apple slices and then they, and they survived the night. This morning when we went to check on them, they seemed dead but they were just sleeping very soundly and I uh, borrowed some Dawn from a neighbor Dawn soap so that I could give them a little bit of a bath because I heard that that's the safest way to uh, get the fleas off of them so I did that this morning and then I saw like they they're just very like sleepy and they're very little and I feel like if they were in their nest they'd still be drinking from their mom so I looked up um, formula for them and it's like a, a puppy formula that you can give them. They say not to do kitten formula, but puppy formula is okay. Are you okay? Uh, they're so cute. Um, and so I'm in the pet store and talking to the girl about the formula. And this other lady's like, are you feeding squirrels too? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, I, I got three squirrels last night. They fell out of a tree. Hers are like three weeks old, I think. And they had one can of the formula that is acceptable for baby squirrels left in the whole store. So she and I split it. Uh, I got her number. Um, so I do have, I made little bottles. Oh, and I bought these bottles that have like the nipples that are small enough for them. And I got a little bit into them, but not a lot. Um, but they're, they seem okay. Um, wildlife apparently the wildlife control people aren't calling her back either so i may be taking care of these guys for a while i don't know um but that was just kind of funny that someone else was looking for the exact same thing i was at the exact same time this morning and yeah so i have a friend to text about our baby squirrels it's our daughter's first day of school today and i think she's expecting them to be picked up by wildlife people by the time she gets home but they haven't called me back so I'm not expecting that um so we'll just keep giving them formula big nuts and some fruit and and uh yeah so we're gonna we want to name them Bert and Ernie this is I don't know who's who wait this is the one that's all black so um let's call him Bert Bert he's so cute I think they're boys. I'm not really sure the anatomy on baby squirrels, but I think I see a boy part. I'm not sure. Is that a boy part? It looks like a boy part to me. Um, and then this one also. Oh, well, there's a little flea dead on your head. So then this one would be Ernie. Hey, he's got a little bit more brown on him. Say hi. Hi, were we silly? Did we leave our nests? We did. So anyway, that's my journey. I did make my 10 o'clock call. I moved my 11 o'clock call and I have calls this afternoon, but these are my babies for now.